it's, it's actually the, the building we're in right now. That window right there is that window. So it gives you some context of where we, where we, where we, where we sit. So this area here is the first part here. We have a, the, the new library where that will be located here. This is the uh, metal building that sits down away from us slightly. And then the new addition. cafeteria will be where the new uh, court, court will be. All right, this is it. All right, there we go. Right there. And watch this break. All right, let's see if this works. Okay, good. All right, I'm going to go to the pretty stuff first, because that's really what you want. You want to do a silly form and stuff. Okay, this is how the, the new justice centre will be, uh, as you see from sort of centralised in the courtyard. So, okay, so this, oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, so this here is the existing building. This here will be the clerk's office right to here. Uh, we're Which way is the north? I'm sorry? Which way is the north? Uh, north is uh, behind us. Yes. Okay. So you're looking uh, sort of south. South, south west. So this is uh, the open, the park, well, we'll hopefully become a parking lot in the near future. It's got those, you have those yeah. two porter cabins up uh, on, the, on the side over here. Yeah. This is where the school cafeteria was in this area here. And we basically kept the envelope. This area here is actually currently open. Um, we're enclosing that as part of the, the style and detail here. This is the new lobby we're creating. Um, this here will be uh, the attorney conference rooms at the front, and this will be the entry we'll come in. They'll actually have um, uh, you'll actually have a go through um, screening, etc. You'll we'll have a sheriff available in this location right here, um, and they'll be able to go to the county clerk's office right through here and to be set. This area here is, they currently have another roof on it. We're looking at seeing if we can afford to put a clear story row of lights down the middle, basically set of windows both sides. We're looking to see if we can get that in the budget, and so we're putting in just to see for the moment. So we'd really like to do that to be able to get some light in the center of the building. But what we've tried to do is try to keep some of the lines here to sort of allude to more of the, the substantial nature of how we're seeing a criminal justice center to be. Um, we're keeping the existing brick we have here on, on the envelope. So the existing brick you see around the entire campus will remain. What we're doing is we're, we're taking that brick detailing, we're going to run it around the new, uh, the new addition here, but we're interceding with um, some metal, zinc metal paneling in here, trying to give it a little bit more of a, a modern feel, and that will also tie in with the existing uh, stainless steel windows, etc. that we have um, on the building itself. Okay, now I'm standing across the road. I've come down the street. We walk part the one here right now. Here's that metal building. Here's the back of the building where we the future library. So this here then is the back of the office. Now, believe it or not, apart from the Sally Port here on the back, um, this line right here and this building line right here is actually existing. That's the, exact, the back of the existing cafeteria that you have. This here will come up through here. Adult probation will have their new department entrance right through here. So this is what the building will look like on the back. But again, we're, we're trying to take the stucco, uh, combination of stucco, the brick, and the stucco to really, in an off-white, creamy color to, to, to really respect the, uh, the old courthouse that we have that we'll be using next. Um, but this really has the, the, the flavor of what we want to really announce. It's for Charlottesville, it has a, uh, that criminal justice, that stability to the, uh, the law court building. So this here then is the, the Sally Port. So uh, pistols we brought in through this uh, here will, the door will come up, the park inside, pistols will go for temporary cells. This is the back entrance here that uh, the judge, this is judge can use here. Um, the sheriff and bailiff can come out this back way through here. As you can see on the back, we have a lot of railings going on through here. We're actually taking out the, the existing landscape on the back side of this what was school wing comes right to the edge of the street here. 
we're actually going to excavate that and take that back to enable us to gain parking along this side of the street here. So that'll be, this, that'll be parking there for an operation and for um, part of the legal department on this side and then down the adjacent street. Um, we discussed some other, we looked at another option here as well. If you look, you sort of notice the Wes Waldo thing. Look at that elevation. Look at that elevation. You notice that the envelope on this part here changes from a stucco to a, uh, uh, a, a cloud metal. This metal is actually the wrong color. This metal is actually meant to be that color right there. So we're, we're changing that as we speak uh, today. So uh, it'll be more like this metal color here. So we're sort of still undecided, full cloud advantages one way or the other, but uh, it gives you an idea of how that, how that building looks in the landscape. We, we also want to make sure that the new facility respected the old, but yet it fitted in well to the, to the quadrant um, as a whole. Hello? This gives you an idea here of yes. a building section. This actually here is the uh, cross section as if you cut the cafeteria in half to here. So it's basically cutting through the middle of this shape right here. You can see the faint outline of the relations right there, which is this piece right there. So this then has a much taller ceiling. We're taking the roof off the old cafeteria building. We're trying to reutilize as much of the steel as we can in the roof. Reorganizing it, putting the proper steel system we need in. We're trying to reutilize as much of the steel to try and save us some money down the economy. For economy. Um, this will be the lobby area here for waiting outside the courtroom and this will be the clerk. Uh, but this will be the courtroom then itself. And as you can see, we can actually have a cathedral ceiling here within the, uh, the courtroom itself. Uh, we've also we're introduced some architectural panels in here. So when you actually, sorry, when you actually uh, in the courtroom itself, we can actually have some reflective panels in here that will help with the sound when you're talking, and also that enables to have uh, an interesting uh, lighting concept within that space itself. Okay, so along the street you can see um, how this looks here on the back elevation. Is the back elevation here, back of the courtroom building here. Here's the front of the library how that's going to be. Um, and then we've got the side elevation here uh, of, the, of the new just a second right there. The plan really hasn't changed much from what we had since we had last time, but it gives you an overall idea of what we're, what we're planning on doing there. Um, again, we're trying to keep as ma many of the existing uh, design elements that we have within this facility and just up upgrade them to bring them to, a, to the 21st century. So we're really happy with it. I think it's, 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 it's going to look beautiful on this side. I think it's the site, the context, the height, the massing works really, really well. It really changes the look of the library. It really does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I think this elevation here is particularly nice the way that, that, that looks here. So we've got a large glass entry atrium right here. These elements here, if you notice, they, they turn down slightly, so this will actually create a shade element and the light, plenty of light coming in from the case, but actually gives a nice shade element to it. And we actually, as you can see it from here, but it, it's got Wilson County Library, and then we've got South Forest Lane there, mounted on the wall, which should be backlit. Um, we're working, working with the lighting dispatchers right now. We've also got these metal um, shading devices on the windows, so as the sun sets, again, it will help, um, help, with the, help with the shading to the windows, so keeping the windows as, as they are. Any questions? Any questions from anyone? Lindsay, just for the people's information and then everybody, when this is all reconstructed, other than keeping the, the shell itself, everything else will be totally reconstructed. For the most part of the side, yeah. Um, so sort of this working that way, when we get to this building here, we're going to blow out most of the walls on the interior. Um, when we move down to the end, same thing, we're going to do the cinder block walls as the hallways and those slide out the windows. We can keep those in place. So the structure that keeps the building sound on, on the end wing will, will they'll, they'll remain, the exterior windows of your room will remain. Uh, we'll also change the roof where we're going into a new HVAC system for that. For the windows, but yeah, we'll be having new flooring, new, new, new carpeting, new, new doors, new interior doors. We're really trying to let the, the light from both sides sort of meander, permeate through the buildings and such. Yeah, and the Justice Center, <coughs> the South Fort, 
and Holderfield will be added to the existing building. Yes. So let me go back to that. So this here, I'll go back to the plan on the road. It's okay, Judge. I think I think we can see it okay. Okay. So the existing envelope that we currently have so just goes from here, across there, up there, down, I think through there like that. That's sort of the envelope that we currently have. We're adding these meeting rooms here on the, on the front here. That, that, that was as a result of visiting with the district judges that they, yes. they asked for to have that added on. Yes, so we, have, we actually have this small part on the front here that actually can be subdivided into two separate rooms here. Um, we're going to enclose what is currently the covered walkway into the cafeteria that's going to be enclosed and we're adding this glass box to give a little bit more room here for when, when public come in, uh, they can go through a security check right here. Um, we found in a number of, number of jurisdictions that security check is used on and off um, uh, share with the, with the manning that we need, you know, depending on the the, the district judge is quite excited about the building itself because of the security elements that goes in it. And, uh, uh, so, so as you said then, judge, this this wing right, this area right by here, that's where the holding cells are going to be. This here is where the, um, the sheriff's department will be there monitoring the inmates that come in, and this is the new side hall, the mechanical room area. It's a mechanical enclosure the exterior. That's where that new sally port is being added. And this gives us privacy then for the judge and, and sheriff's car to come in uh, here into the back hallway here. Uh, and they will want to also leave as well from the back and have private parking right here. Um, then the observation then will come up back to here. And this so this can actually be the whole this can be just essentially be locked down at night. So we can actually leave this part, part of the here for the operation so we can actually come and go because uh, I know they have some after hours folks and you come in. Um, the rest of the entire Justice Centre all the way through here and up and they'll be closed down. There, there had been a couple of questions, you know, about probation office and, and the library, but they're no, they're no closer now than they have been in the past. And, and the, uh, this probation department has a like, like I said, it has their own entrance and everything from the other side. That, and, uh, so it it's a, it's kind of a nice setup for, for security and safety purposes. The great thing about this complex is being in this sort of quadrangle that it, it's so unique to have this opportunity to have you know parking and accessibility from four different sides. Mm -hmm. um, it really provides us uh, a lot of opportunities that we usually don't have on a on, on a renovation or something like this. And it's a great building, it's in great shape too, which is... Now you, you just brought it on these two buildings, right? Yeah, you know, no, just for these at the moment, because I'm just going to roll it out. For, 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 I think everybody here probably knows it, but what plans are, the courthouse is going to be stabilized and remodeled, and, and uh, the county operations going to move back into the courthouse. The auditor's office, the uh, county attorney, the judge's office, the... Uh, Treasurer's office will all move back into the courthouse proper. Ms. Eva is going to move into the old library building. And uh, so it's going to, and then the what is now the district courtroom and the courthouse will be uh, commission's courtroom and county court room and uh, serve both purposes. So uh, and that pretty much takes care of all of the three. Anyone have any questions at all? Uh, how much money are we spending on all this? Well, it's I mean, on all the projects, not just this, but the courthouse. About eighty-three, uh, eight million three hundred thousand left. Where's that money? We're going to sell bonds. <laughs> My taxes. Actually, it's going to affect your taxes very little. I, I can't believe it. Man. Well, I, I don't <laughs> care whether you believe it or not. I'm just telling you. You know, you can believe what you want to believe. Well, I do. Alright. That's fine. And uh, I, I may be the only one in the county, but I'm very much against it. Y'all have a place to meet now. Y'all have offices here. You spend a lot of money on this. And I can't see why you want to spend a bunch more money on that thing down there that we've already spent money on in the past. What thing? 
that courthouse. It's a, it's a money hole, is all it is. Well, in, in reality, I'm going to sound a lot like you and what you're saying. Because, in fact, my wife even criticized me for saying that. When they first deemed that it was needed to be repaired, I made the statement that if we probably need an earthquake, we'd be ahead. But in reality, to build that building back would be about $20 million. But we don't need that building anymore. We've got offices. We, you're building a courthouse down here. What do we need that building for? We need it for the county courthouse. We need this for the district court. And we need this for the library. The thing about it is that we have, uh, we're a very rapidly growing county. And uh, this will take care of our building needs for many years in, in this area. Uh, <coughs> the, uh, the courthouse in Carnes County alone, which is really no bigger than ours, is costing what we're getting all three of these for. Uh, the, uh, when they do all that work on that courthouse down there, we're not going to have to come back in a few years and uh, redo a bunch more stuff. Uh, you know. Mr. Thorne said that it would be good for another hundred years. Is that correct? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be there. 1909 all along, yes. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, what we're trying to do is, is it's, a, it's, a, it's a, you know, it's a historical building as well for the county people. Um, there aren't many left that, you know, in that good of shape. We've got, you know, the one corner is has given us some problems, but if you compare that courthouse to, say, Carnes, which was built at the same time, and uh, I said they spent an arm and a leg trying to get their done and it's built the same work. We were fortunate that it, 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 for the most part, it stayed pretty stable. So, as the judge is saying, we're trying to get to a point where it can actually have another lease, another lease of life for another, you know, for generations to come. Uh, I think it's part of, also part of a, a, a social responsibility for the future generations, too. I mean, it's, you know, gradually. Well, I can see there's historical value to it. But there's historical societies and stuff like that that take care of things like that. We well, they, actually, this is ironic because we, we, met, we met with uh, a, a number of historical societies all the time. But um, what we're doing is something I think is, is, is what it should be. We're, we're continuing its future as a courthouse and courthouse discipline. Whereas a lot of historical societies would rather it become a museum. Well, I think we're doing right by the bill. It's actually be, continue to be a, a public entity and a public building to be used for, for decades to come. And I think that's important. Um, you know, I come from a land of a lot of historic buildings and structures that, you know, there's a lot, they're building new stuff because the old stuff isn't being used. Well, we're doing both here. We're giving it a new lease of life. And it's actually going to have a, a purpose. You say so. The last time the, last time the courthouse was remodeled, Mm -hmm. In the 70s, that's like 40 something years ago. Uh, we, for many years, we, uh, sure, when we had trustees, we did a lot of the re up updates and upkeep on the courthouse. We used the trustees, I think. We've been very uh, uh, frugal in, in everything we've done as far as the county. And the the jail bond just paid off its last whatever. Um, so the the uh, the debt that we'll be paying in the future will not be that much more than what we paid in the past as far as the jail bonds. But why are we going to quit paying debt? Yeah, probably going? probably never. Uh, I mean that that part <laughs> just like just like just like whenever you your living expenses are probably going to go until you die. I mean, that's just the way life is. But when I have an old 76 Chevrolet pickup that don't run no more, I don't try to put $10,000 into it to get it to run. I, that's not I go old, get something else. This is not an old 76 Chevrolet pickup, so it's not <laughs> even a good reference. <laughs> I think it is. Well, I don't think it is, but so that's just, there, there we are. Yeah. You know? So, anybody else have anything to I, I would like to comment, too, in that this courthouse 
the Giles Courthouse is probably, I, I, I think it's the